Some of you have been asking if you can share a Power BI report in Microsoft Teams using a Power BI free account. Well, the answer is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. I've set up three Microsoft 365 user accounts. The first user is Brandon Michaels at brmteams1.onmicrosoft.com. This user has a team named Team1. If we go to Manage Team, we can see this user is the owner of the team. The second user is team member at brmteams1.onmicrosoft.com. Since this user shares the same domain as the first user, both users belong to the same organization. As we can see, this user is not a member of any team yet, but because this user is a member of the same organization, there's automatically an invite to join team one here. The third user is Brandon Michaels at brmteams2.onmicrosoft.com. This user belongs to a different organization and is the owner of team two. Now we'll switch to the Power BI service for our first user, Brandon Michaels at BRM Teams 1. We can see this is a Power BI free account, and this user already has a report named Business uploaded to the Power BI service. Let's go back to Teams for this user. Here, we'll add a Power BI tab by clicking the plus button at the top, then choosing the Power BI app. We'll expand our workspace, choose the Business Report, then click Save. That adds the report as a tab named Business for Team 1. As we can see, this is a fully functional Power BI report embedded in Teams. If we switch over to Teams for the second user and click the Join Team button, we'll see that Team 1 now appears under Teams, and we can also see the Business tab for the Power BI report. But when we click on the tab, it breaks. This is because our second user does not have a Power BI account. If we go through the Power BI sign-up process so that this user also has a Power BI free account, then return to Teams, and with the Business tab selected, it sounds like we just need to be granted permission to view the report. So we'll request access. Then let's switch back to Teams for the first user and respond to the request for permission. Hmm. Now we get a message telling us that this feature is restricted to paid accounts. There is a free trial, but the point of this video is to show you how to use a Power BI free account, not a trial account. The good news is that there's a workaround. If we click the plus button again, we can see there's another type of tab we can add called website. Let's name this business website. And now we need to enter a URL. To do that, we'll go back to the Power BI service for our first user. If we click share, we'll see a message similar to the message we saw telling us that we need a paid account. So we can't use this option. And clicking chat in Teams will result in the same message. Instead, we wanna to go to file, then embed report and choose publish to web. If this feature isn't enabled yet, we'll see this message. To enable the feature, click the settings gear icon in the upper right, then choose admin portal. In tenant settings, under export and sharing settings, in the publish to web section, choose allow existing and new codes, then click apply. Now we'll go back to the report, click File, Embed Report, and Publish to Web. Now Microsoft includes a notice here saying you're not allowed to share this internally in an email, over an internal network, or on an intranet site. There's a second notice saying that what you share will be public. It sounds like the intent is to make any report shared using the Publish to Web option publicly available. This is important to keep in mind when using this option for sharing a Power BI report. After clicking through these messages, we'll click the Copy button. Then we'll switch back to Teams for our first user, paste the URL, and click Save. We can now see the new tab, Business Website. And if we click on it, we'll see that the Power BI report is fully functional. Next, we'll go to Teams for our second user. Because this user is a member of the same team, the Business Website tab appears here too. When we click on it, we see this user also has access to the fully functional Power BI report. So we've successfully shared a Power BI report between two users in the same organization using a free Power BI account. But what if we want to share with a user outside of our organization? Let's switch back to Teams for our first user, Click the three dots next to Team 1 and choose Add Member. Here, we'll enter the email address for our third user, Brandon Michaels at brmteams2.onmicrosoft.com. Teams labels users from outside the organization as guests. We can see that here. Once we click Add and Close, Teams sends an invitation to this user by email. To join the team, the user needs to click on the link in the email. We'll need to click Accept to agree to allow the other organization access to this user's profile data and log the user's activity on their team. After that, Teams takes us directly to the team. If we click on the avatar, Teams shows us that this user is currently part of this organization and team as a guest. And the user now has access to the business website tab. If we click on the tab, we can see that the Power BI report is fully functional. If you need a business email to use with Power BI, I made this short video that walks you step-by-step -step through how to get a free business email so you can publish and share your Power BI reports using the Power BI service. I'll see you over there.